Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see what is normalized space in XPath. Let's understand the syntax for in XPath. Okay. For a relative XPath, we will be using a single slash for, sorry, double slash. And for absolute XPath, we will be using a single slash. So here we are going to concentrate on, concentrate on double slash, which means like on a relative XPath. Okay. So we'll have like after double slashes, we will have a tag name and then we will have a square bracket and after that we will have a id or not id in the sense like attribute attribute equal to attribute value okay so all attribute value may come in a single quote okay and then close the square bracket okay this is one of the way we will be using our X path okay so there is another uh, version it is like a tag name and then square bracket and then function and then function and the basically the function is nothing but a particular uh, uh, function which will return any value okay equal to value okay this is how we create our X path okay so mostly we have used this one and this one as well in your day to day activities but sometimes you might combine both of them like this like this you might have combined both the attribute and function so it could be in this way or first attribute and then function it could be in a different um, mix and match ways okay so when we see attributes attributes are something like uh, any values which has equal sign okay for example let me inspect this page okay this is a sample test page don't you don't have to have this page okay so here we have an id right so this is an attribute so whatever you have it in the html code that is called attributes okay which should have an equal sign but sometimes if you are having um, any uh, boolean values you will not have an equal sign you will just have like hidden or a multiple or something like that because the property itself says that the default value is true so because of that boolean values will not have any equal sign but remaining all the properties or attributes will have an equal sign okay now so here the normalized space is a function okay so it will not fall under this category it will fall into this category okay so this is the category we have so how we do it so for example we can re change the x path like tag name square bracket normalize hyphen space equal to value okay so this exception argument okay this argument again it could be a function or i can write it here let me write it arg here and uh, i'll put the value here arg could be function or attribute for example you can provide at id here or text it's up to you what you provide but it should result into a value normally a string value okay so now let's implement this one into our code or into our xpath so in this example we are not going to write our you know automation code but we'll try to find the element so that's that will be our target so i want to find this text okay so normally how do we use we'll write um, xpath something like this right double slash uh, it is it has the tag name as label so this is the way we find it but if we have a duplicate for example let me add a duplicate into this one okay which has no id let me refresh it now you will have two if we use this label we find two different matches okay the one with id and one without id so what we do is like we will add id at id equal to 
whatever id it has like here it has some value and i'm copy pasting the same value and i'm trying to find it yes i'm able to find the element but if we have notice it has multiple spaces right so what we do whenever you have like a html5 it will give multiple spaces but on the ui it, you can see only one space even here you can see like multiple spaces in the text but here you can see only one space right so html automatically removes all the extra spaces but if this spaces are expected like four spaces means four spaces in every release then we don't have a problem but what if this particular space is a random sometimes it comes three spaces and sometimes it comes as four spaces for example if this one has a random spaces right here if i change like one single space and if i save it let's see whether this particular xpath works or not see here we have changed one space because of which it's not working but at the same time if i remove it it will work so every time you cannot go and change the xpath because of this a small space change okay so to avoid this particular issue we are going for normalized space basically normalized space what it does is if we have any space in the front before the value or after the value or okay so it will remove the before and after uh, spaces completely but if there is a space or a new line inside the value for example here you can say between a random and has there is multiple spaces okay what normally space will do is it will remove all the spaces but it will keep only one single space at the same time if we have new line or a tab then also it will remove them and it will add a space so end of the thing it will look like you know something like this so it will not depend on your spaces number of spaces okay this is how we want to have it because the space may change but we don't want our element to change or our export to change again and again okay so because of that one we will be using a normalized space function with export okay for example here i am writing normalize okay normalize with z okay normalize space and here we have id right at id now we have to use equal sign so equal sign what it has like has a random spaces right let me copy it but we shouldn't be providing the extra spaces we just need to provide sorry we just need to provide the exact string what we are trying to match okay now it matches the same right it has a single spaces and it doesn't have any trailing or leading spaces leading is this one and the trailing is this spaces okay if any space present okay now it matches for example now i have used a normal space let me add little more slip sorry little more space here okay i have much space here and let me refresh the same page still it matches irrespective of the spaces okay so this is the you know benefit of using normal space now we have used with id which is basically attribute not only id you can use any attribute for example here consider uh, we have protractor and a few links okay let me inspect one of it okay right click right click and i'm going to inspect something whichever has the space okay for example consider this one this has a space here if you can see it here right yes it has a space let me find the xpath here okay so i'm going to copy the xpath from here and i'm going to change little so here the tag name is a and normal space we are not trying to use id but instead of id we are trying with href okay here so not href as well it is what you call title okay but now we let's change this particular value here and see whether it matches or not it is not matching anything because when i copied here i left the space here at the end okay so i have to remove it otherwise the normal space will not work 
So now you can see it matches a couple of things, but obviously it matches this one. And again, we can filter it out, okay, whichever match we want to have. But now you, what you have to learn is like, not only the standard ID, class name or name you can use, you can use any attribute present in the HTML, basically whichever has the equal sign, okay? Now, we have used attribute. What if the text has the spaces like this one? Here you can select four spaces, okay? In that case, it is like a similar to your use uh, functions. Like you have to use the function name okay here the text is our function and here we have to provide okay let's change the text here okay txt okay one single space but we have multiple spaces but here we have to give a single space because multiple spaces or new lines will be replaced with a single space okay this is also called as normalization okay now we are able to find it uh, i hope you guys are clear about normalize space now okay so a few people still tend to have a little you know thing or confusion like really do we need it yes when you have this kind of scenarios you definitely need you know uh, what you call normalize space okay sometimes sometimes what happens is like some people think can i use a uh, normal space with contains yes obviously you can use normal space along with contains okay so for example i'm changing it to the old one now it is a old expert let me go with the contains you know let me explain the contains syntax okay so basically contains is a function it is also similar to this one tag name and then you will have like contains what the attribute or is nothing but attribute or uh, function again you can use you can say okay comma you have to provide the value what value it is you are trying to see so basically it will see like this particular value is subset of this org okay it could be a text function or at idea at idea attribute or at i name okay irrespective of that one it will check whether it is a substring or not Okay, now if you are using a normal space, then we have to form that one. Okay, let's form it. Okay, we will have contains and then we have to have normalize space. So here, this is a function. Okay, we have replaced this arc and now we have this arc. This also could be a function or it could be an ID. For example, here I'm changing it to ID and the value could be anything. Okay, now let's copy this one, this format and put it here okay so let me bring this one here so that it will be better rather than bring it the other way okay now we have so this one normally space id this thing right so we have given the id now we have to take this id into the value place okay but it is a full still it will match okay let me copy it but uh, most of the time for contains we will not be using a full values but of values okay still it matches but as i said we will not be using full values but some uh, you know of values are a subset of values see this one is a subset of value or subset of substring you can say this is a total string like has space random space again spaces space like that <laughs> because okay so now uh, we are removed this particular part but we are matching with this one so still it works fine right so normal space also can work with contains okay yes so that is all about a normalized space if you have any questions as usual you can you know ask the questions or if you want me to create a new video on some xy topic you can post the topic as well either on our facebook page or on youtube channel or on our website okay thank you guys